One easy way to quit fast fashion is to stop buying clothes that you don't necessarily need, but you've been brainwashed into thinking you need. That's called hyperconsumerism. More on this in the rest of the video. Stay tuned. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Maisha, and welcome back to Steve 365 Daily, where I focus on mental health awareness and conscious fashion. So you read the title and you know what we're here for, so let's jump right into it. What is fast fashion for those of you who do not know? It is a term that's used to describe fashion that is produced at the same rate or similar to the same rate of fast food. You usually know fast fashion when you uh, see clothing lines that are being produced multiple times, two to three times throughout the year. They're very cheap, very low quality, and they're probably a knockoff of another brand. You might have seen fast fashion brands from Forever 21, Shein, Zara, H&M, and the list goes on. So what is the issue with fast fashion? Fast fashion is one of the biggest contributors to air and water pollution. According to the UN Environmental Program from LiveKindly.co, the global fashion industry is responsible for about 10% of carbon emission. In 2015, the fast fashion industry created 92 million tons of water waste. To add insult to injury, Americans alone throw away 85% of the garments that we consume, which is about 8.5 billion pounds annually, according to livekindly.co. The UK alone have been sending 11,000 garments to the landfills weekly filled with petrochemical textiles like polyester and nylon that aren't biodegradable and that stays in landfills for about 200 years. I don't know about you or I, but I don't think I'm gonna live that long. And so that means that not only are they affecting our generation, but they're affecting ge future generations to come. So who is affected by fast fashion? The truth is the companies that put off these harmful garments do not pay the true cost of what it means to produce them. Which brings me to my next point. Fast fashion is super unethical. Just this past summer, Boohoo, a big fashion retailer, was brought under fire for modern day slave. They were accused of paying their workers less than 3.50 euros, which is also less than $5 in the US. Can you live off of that? And which is also not equivalent to the minimum wage for 25 and above year olds in the UK. I won't get into all the things that's bad with Boohoo because it's a long list of things but if you want me to talk about things that are wrong with all these fast fashion brands or a specific fast fashion brand let me know in the comments below. Boohoo is just one of the big fashion fast fashion retailers that have come under fire. There's so many more. For me the collapse of the Rana Plaza garment factory in Bangladesh that killed 2,000 garment workers who told um, executives at these factories that the buildings that they were working out of were unsustainable but it collapsed on them. After learning about that, that is what brought me to want to do this work and learn more about sustainability in fast fashion. The documentary The True Cost is one of the many documentaries that exposes the fast fashion industry for its unethical practices. There was a woman in The True Cost that explained how she had to send her daughter to a different to a neighbor or a family member in a different city because she could not afford to keep her within her, the same city as her because of how much she was paid. And also she could not ever bring her to work due to the fact that, the pollute, that these factories were so polluted due to the textiles that they were producing. That's what we as American consumers and also uh, other consumers in different countries don't have to worry about when we buy our two to five dollar t-shirts that only last about three months and are thrown into landfills. These people are literally spending their livelihood to make these clothing for us. So what are the solutions to fast fashion? The biggest way that you can stop contributing to fast fashion is to stop buying clothes that you don't need and that you won't wear after a couple of months. True sustainability and sustainable fashion is one of the solutions to fast fashion. And I'm not, and I'm not talking about greenwashing where brands like H and M claim to be pushing out a sustainable fashion line, but has no transparency or no proof of their decreasing their carbon um, footprint or showing how ethical their factories are. I'm talking about true sustainable company. And if you want me to share some uh, sustainable fashion brands, let me know in the comments below as well. Also, if you're liking this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated on all these videos because I am doing a series on this. 
According to the United Nations Commission, sustainability is defined as meeting the needs of the present without compromising the needs of the future generations. Now I don't know about y'all, but 200 years sitting in landfills because these clothes are not biodegradable is definitely compromising future generations. Sustainability is usually broken down into three categories, environmental, social, and economical. When you're shopping with these retailers, ask yourself, are they all checking these boxes? Are they making sure that their clothes are biodegradable and that they are decreasing their carbon footprint? Are they making sure that ethics run throughout their whole company from the people who work with them in office to the people who work in their factories in the U.S. and overseas? Ask yourself, do you really need the clothes that you're buying or are you a hyper consumer? We have been conditioned by capitalism to think that we need the next best thing or that, you know, we have to stay on trend to be fast. That's not true. True fashion is slow, it's ethical, it's made locally, it's you're probably made by hand, it's better material, it's better quality. The truth is we can't keep allowing fast fashion to do the damage that it's doing in the world today. So how can you let go of fast fashion and start to wean yourself off of it? For me, the Rana Plaza, reading about that was the thing that was a no-brainer for me. I went cold turkey on fast fashion. And I'll tell you some ways that you could as well. So number one, I said it before, stop buying more things. We are people who overconsume. We have more than what we need. And I know that's so crazy because right now we're in the Christmas season and this is the most capitalistic holiday out there. However, stop consuming more than what you actually need. Go to your closet and check to see if you actually need more clothes or is, that it, or is it that you want more clothes. Go to see if you can restyle the clothes that's already in your closet or if you can recycle them. Don't keep buying new stuff that's going to just sit in your closet for months and months. For one thing, it creates clutter and um, it also creates confusion in your life. If you want help with learning how to restyle those clothes and you know find out what to do with those different pieces, I did do a capsule wardrobe and I'll link it somewhere up here for 40 outfit ideas with the same pieces so definitely go watch that after you watch this video number two thing don't throw away your clothes like I said give them away to somebody go take them to um, Goodwill or your local thrift store give them to friends and family sell them on thread up sell them on Poshmark give them away do something else but do not throw them away because those clothes end up in landfills usual and honestly pre-loved clothes are the best I have on something from the thrift store right now in this video and it's cute and I love this three things stop being a victim of FOMO fear of missing out don't let capitalism fool you into thinking that you always have to get the next thing or the newest thing or whatever I don't care if it's clothes phone anything stop thinking that you're going to miss out you're not trust me things are going to be made every day every year you're not going to miss number four thing find your personal style honey i'll tell you this one of the reasons why you're probably constantly getting all of these new pieces that are come out every season or every time that these fast fashion brands are releasing them is because you simply don't know your personal style. As a personal stylist myself, I know that most of these new styles that comes out does not fit within my personal style and you should know that as well. Half of these things are that are on trend aren't even that cute, okay? So stop being a person that follows the trend and really figure out your personal style because once you cultivate that personal style, you're really starting to figure out what things you like and what things you don't like and more than likely a lot of these fast fashion companies are not going to be appealing to you because they don't appeal to me please shop locally people sleep so much on their local boutiques their black owned boutiques you know boutiques that are in the neighborhood that's making the neighborhood circle like shop locally sustainably find sustainable fashion brands that are transparent about their carbon imprint that are transparent about how ethical their companies are and usually handmade locally made are better material they put more time and effort into making these garments for you and they last a lot longer so shop locally last but not least and the biggest thing i want you to take from this is whole brands accountable it is the brand's job to make sure that they are ethical all around it's the brand's job to make sure that they are transparent about what they're doing to decrease their carbon footprint on this earth what they are doing to reduce the carbon emissions what they are doing to help with the sustainable efforts to make this world a better place for our future generations hold those brands accountable you're paying your money with those brands so you deserve to know all of these things 
all in all y'all there are way more ways that you think to be sustainable i won't hold it against you because i i couldn't hold it against myself for not knowing all the things that i just explained in this video but you came here to learn it now you know now i challenge you to go out there and do your own research or to continue to follow my channel because this is going to be a series where i'm explaining to you all sustainable fashion fast fashion ethical fashion all of the things around that and what does that look like greenwashing all of that stuff continue to do the work continue to learn more so that you can be more cognizant of where you're putting your money in and so that you can quote unquote vote with your dollars the right way as it's not just us that we have to think about it's our future generations that we have to think about oh no i hope this video was helpful for you and if it was like i said go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button Please come back, turn on your notification bell, share it with your friends because we all need to move towards a more sustainable future in general. Uh, thank you so much for rocking with me up until this point. Much love to all of you and until next time, mwah, slay style.